In this video, we present a rare complication of ICD implantation. This is a 25-year-old male patient with a history of ACTA2 deficiency, pulmonary embolism, deep vein thrombosis, aortic root replacement, non-ischemic CMP and ICD implantation. The patient presented with left arm numbness and edema. Head and neck CT and geography did not show any sign of arterial stenosis, occlusion or intracranial lesion. However, a subclavian artery venous fistula was verified between the thoracoacromial trunk and the subclavian vein with the subsequent dilation of the vein potentially caused by the ICD lead in the subclavian vein. Reconstructed CTA images enabled a good visualization of the fistula and were used to select the optimal C-arm angulations and to plan the procedure. After gaining ultrasound-guided radial access, DSA was performed to identify the fistula. 5 French Bern catheter and an O35 inch guide wire were used for selective cannulation of the affected subclavian tributary and selective angiogram was taken. A series of 8 and 10 mm helical detachable interlock coils were deployed into the vessel sequentially through the Bern catheter. Caution was taken to avoid coil protrusion or misplacement. Below an image is shown of the coil detachment mechanism. The red arrow is marking the place of detachment. A second coil was deployed and an angiography was performed in order to see if any additional coils are required. In the angiogram, arterial filling of the fistula was seen, so the decision was made to continue the intervention. Additional coils were deployed proximally. After that, sufficient angiographic result was achieved with no sign of arterial to venous flow. The circulation of the treated upper extremity was intact after concluding the procedure. The patient was discharged the same day of intervention in good condition.